In this video, we're going to be talking about LDRs, thermistors, and sensing circuits. Let's say you want to turn on the lights. To do that, you have to press a switch. That switch is part of a circuit. Once pressed, it closes and completes the circuit, and any components that are in the circuit, such as a light bulb, will then turn on. Now, not all light bulbs or components get turned on by using a switch. Some of them turn on automatically. For example, if you look at street lights, during the day, they're not on. However, at night, automatically, they get turned on. Now, there isn't a switch that turns on every single street lamp. Instead, there's a special component within the circuit of the street lamp which responds to the light intensity of the surroundings. This component then determines when it's time to turn the light bulb on or off. The name of this component is an LDR, or a light dependent resistor. So, with an LDR, you have to memorize how it works. So, first of all, let's look at how it behaves in different light intensities. So, with an LDR, when light intensity is low, the resistance will be high. And when light intensity is high, the resistance will be low. And it follows a shape that looks similar to this. Now, a good way to remember this is that when it's dark, the electrons are scared to move, and therefore resistance is high. And of course, when it's, when it's bright, they're not scared anymore, and they can move around. Now remember, don't write this in your exam, it's just a good way to help you remember the pattern. This component is a thermistor. The resistance of a thermistor changes based on the temperature of the surroundings. You will usually find them in things like circuit boards within a computer. And their main function is to control when a fan or a light is turned on and off when the temperature of the computer is too high. So with a thermistor, when temperature is low, the resistance is high. And when temperature is high, the resistance is low. And it follows a pattern like this. Again, a good way to remember this is that when the temperature is low, the electrons are cold and, fr and frozen. They don't want to move, so therefore there is high resistance and low current. However, when the temperature begins to increase, the electrons gain kinetic energy and move around faster, so therefore there is lower resistance. Again, this is a good way to help you memorize it. So now we're going to look at exactly how a LDR works to help turn on a bulb. This is a sensing circuit. Here we have a fixed resistor. And like the name suggests, its resistance does not change. This is our LDR, which is in parallel to our bulb. So the fixed resistor and the LDR are in series, and the LDR and the bulb are in parallel. So the bulb's brightness will increase when it gets a larger voltage. So we want to see how darkness will cause the voltage of the bulb to increase. So let's start off by giving some values to this circuit. We'll say that the total voltage is 10. Now that 10 volts will be shared between the fixed resistor and the LDR because they are in series. So let's say that the fixed resistor gets 6 volts and the LDR gets therefore 4 volts. Since the LDR and the bulb are in parallel, that means the vo voltage will be the same. So the bulb's voltage is also going to be 4 volts. So now we're ready to talk about how this works. So when the light intensity drops, the first component to respond to that is going to be the LDR, because it's a light dependent resistor. So the LDR's vo resistance will increase. So if the LDR's resistance increases, that means the total resistance of the whole circuit will also increase. Now, looking at the circuit, we can see that the total voltage is fixed at 10 volts. So if we say V equals IR, since the voltage is fixed at 10 volts, and R and resistance has increased, to balance that, the current has to decrease. So therefore now, the, the, the total current in the whole circuit has decreased. Okay, looking at the fixed resistor next. V equals IR for the fixed resistor. R does not change because it's fixed. 
So we can ignore that for now. That leaves us with V equals I. Now remember, this fixed resistor is in a circuit in which the total current has just dropped. So the current of the fixed resistor has also dropped. Since V equals I, that means the voltage has also dropped. Let's say that the voltage of the fixed resistor has dropped from 6 volts to 2 volts. Now remember, the fixed resistor and the LDR are in series. So if the total voltage of the cell is 10 volts, and now the fixed resistor's one has become 2 volts, that means the LDR has to become 8 volts. The LDR and the bulb are in parallel. So therefore, the voltage of the bulb will also copy the LDR, going from 4 volts to 8 volts. So ultimately, we can see that the voltage of the bulb has increased and therefore it will become brighter. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at, at a sensing circuit which involves a thermistor and a fan. So the goal is that when the temperature rises, we want the fan to turn on or begin to spin faster. So therefore we want the voltage of the fan to increase. So when it becomes hot, we want the fan to speed up. So we want the voltage to increase. Now before we do that, notice that this looks quite similar to that of an LDR. However, you have to make sure that when you draw the sensing circuit of a thermistor, the thermistor goes on its own. Whereas the LDR went with its component, the thermistor does not go with its component. Now a good way to remember this is that a thermistor is not a fan of its fan. And I'm not a fan of this joke, but it does the job. So again, let's set some values. So let's say the total voltage is 10 volts. Remember, the thermistor and the fixed resistor are in series, so they're going to be sharing the 10 volts. And the fixed resistor and the fan are in parallel, therefore they will have the same voltage. So when there's an increase in the temperature of the surroundings, the first component to respond to that will be the thermistor. Now the thermistor's resistance will begin to drop. If the resistance of the thermistor drops, that means the total resistance in the whole circuit will also drop. Now remember, since V equals IR, and we said that the total voltage is fixed at 10 volts, and the total resistance has dropped, therefore the total current has to increase to balance it. Now, looking at the fixed resistor, again, V equals IR. The fixed resistor's resistance does not change. So again, we can assume that V is, equal to, is proportional to I. The fixed resistor is in a circuit in which the total current has just increased, and therefore the voltage of the fixed resistor will also increase as well. So it's going to go from 4 volts to perhaps something like 8 volts. Again, the fan is going to copy that, so the fan will also go from 4 volts to 8 volts. So we can see that the total voltage of the fan has also increased, and therefore it will begin to speed up, which makes sense because when it's hot, we want the fan to turn on. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.